welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i like to thank all my subscribers all over the world for subscribing me and making one, my youtube channel marine tech hub to the highest level so in i would like to tell a little bit more about my channel i have been running this channel for the last 5 years uh, last 4 years the channel was free uh, now uh, i have come to a level where i got the membership so membership level 1 to 3 uh, the level membership 5 which is uh, rupees 3999 uh, in this channel where i am be giving you all the videos for one year plus i'll be helping you for all the troubleshooting at real time from anywhere so lot of superintendents chief engineers and all engineers are calling me for troubleshooting i am very happy it was my dream that i should have a channel like this where i'll be able to help people and shipping companies to save time and money so you can always uh, choose whichever membership you want but uh, level 5 i'll give you all the help and online training i'm giving you online training for rupees 1499 plus if you want to subscribe you can pay me the bank details are here if you want to pay through bank and you can if you want to pay through paytm you can scan the qr code so uh, i'll be very much thankful to all the subscribers again and uh, have a nice day thank you welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i'll explain about insulation check of the rotor so before that you can see this diagram we got two avrs avr1 and 2 you can see here we got avr1 this is 2 and this is 1 i will explain more detail about it and you have the uh, transformer here current transformer differential current transformer you can see here we have three differential current transformer and one ct so today i am going to explain to you about the rotor insulation check so if you see this avr i have explained in the previous video uh, what this ccc this is cross current compensator and we have a field output unit isolate the avr side for checking the rotor so if you see this is the alternator side we have removed the cover this side and on the other side also we have the windings you can see the windings here so if you see on the other side we have the flywheel we have the cover removed here so this is for the cooling and we have the space heater this is the space heater here avr i showed you and this is the connection going from different locations from avr to the alternator so we got the sensor i have to explain about this temperature sensors i have explained about this also this is the dr this is the damping resistor i will tell more detail about this so this is the connections you can see the numbers here please go through the drawing if you see i have closed up the connection here you can see f1 f2 this is the field excitation and uh, dr is the damping resistance which i was explaining you so in this picture you can see uh, we have got to measure the insulation for uh, the rotor side plus you can see this excitation coil here excitation coil so 24 volt will come over here and this is coming from all the way from the avr so you can remove these two connections from here and uh, check the insulation here you have to remove these two this is one part of it and uh, with respect to the rotor uh, rotor connection you have to check the insulation so the, this is the main rotor 
and uh, we, main rotor have got two ends the simple coil whereas the excitation side we have a star connected and we have a diode so you need to remove all the connections from the AVR but in this case here uh, this rotor is a separate unit where we have the diodes rotating diodes so if you uh, give 500 volts it can damage the diodes so how to check the rotor side is you disconnect the terminal here you got you can see one terminal coming here one more here so you disconnect it and put 500 volt DC you will be able to get the insulation this is one side of it so but for the rotor side where the excitation takes place uh, the status side I told you uh, the field you can remove the 24 volt and give for the stator stator side but for the rotor excitation you have the star connected star connected have you can see uh, connection coming six terminals coming from here so you have to remove all these terminals so that you don't damage the diodes so once you remove the terminals from here then you can check the insulation by giving 500 volt DC so very important for the electrical officers we want to check the rotor side uh, you disconnect the line from the excitation side that is the rotor side rotor excitation you can remove all these terminals and check and for the main rotor you remove only two terminals because a simple coil there so very important uh, if you have any doubt regarding how to check the rotor side please let me know and if you like the video please subscribe and have a nice day thank you